Hello everyone and welcome back to today's analysis. Now for the 42nd episode I'm going to analyze none other than Rescal, the main antagonist of the 2011 MCU film Captain America, the first Avenger, and overall one of the overarching antagonists of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. One of the most diabolical and realistically made villains in the MCU, Rescal, or people like him to be more specific, were tragically a reality, not only just in the Nazi Germany, but anywhere and anytime, and even today, people like him tragically still exist, and in this episode I'm going to analyze all the information given about him throughout the films, not only in the Captain America the First Avenger, but also from Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, to better understand Rescal and exactly to see why he is the way he is. Now it offer a do, let's dive in. The monster we all came to know as Rescal was born sometime in the 1910s in the German Empire, and later they end up to grow in the Weimar Republic after Germany lost World War I. And when Adolf Hitler and the Nazis rose to power in 1933, he officially joined the Nazi party, as well as joining a secret society known as Hydra, who dedicated itself to bring back the ancient inhuman hive back on Earth. However, Johann officially took over the society and redirected its purpose to world domination, as well as especially to help the Nazis. And as World War II raged on from 1939 to 1945, Johann committed countless atrocities, not just for Hitler, but for his own pleasure, and when he find out about the super soldier program in the United States, he had Arnim Zola and his spies to steal a sample in order to inject himself with a super soldier serum and become a super soldier himself. However, he stole only an incomplete formula, allowing him to gain enhanced abilities, but it deformed him, causing his face to grow reddish, his hair fall off, and even his own nose ultimately disintegrated, becoming the iconic villain we all know as the Rescal, and his life changed again when he came in contact with the Tesseract, which itself contains the Space Stone, as he wanted to use his power to advance the Nazi Germany and the war effort, and ultimately to usurp Hitler and take over the entire world and rule it as a god. However, in his plans came a huge problem, and that is Captain America, his American counterpart and arch nemesis. But now before I go any further, we all should stop and ask ourselves, is Rescal evil? The reason why I'm asking this why is simply the fact that he seems a bit more crueler after he injected himself with the super soldier serum. However, even before that he was already a horrible and cruel man, as he committed countless atrocities, including massacring an entire village to only to steal the Tesseract and kill the priest that guarded it. While it might be argued here that he fell victim to the Nazi propaganda and possible brainwashing to believe in the superiority of the Aryan race, that in itself is also not true, as he was willing to usurp Hitler and take over not just the Nazi Empire, but the entire world, not to mention that he also planned to kill half of the planet and to rule over the rest, thus proving that the Rescal was and will always will be a pure evil maniac who cared for nothing about others, but only used and manipulates everyone around him for his own personal benefit. And with this, we can finally conclude the fact that the answer to the question is yes, Rescal is pure evil, and ultimately he got what he deserved, as the Tesseract ultimately banished him to a distant planet known as Vormir, where he became the guardian of the Soul Stone, and Captain America managed to save the day and destroy his evil device. He managed to win World War II, and the Nazi Germany has completely collapsed, just like the German Empire before it. However, this wasn't the end for Rescal, as over 70 years later in 2018, Thanos and Longi Gamora came to claim the Soul Stone in order to complete his quest for the Infinity Stones and kill half of the universe. And while Rescal was conditioned in order to remain out there to guard the stone, he was technically freed by Thanos and is now once again free to pursue his own goals once more. Now, what's happened with him afterwards is completely unknown, but nevertheless, it's very likely that if he ever comes back, he might resume his evil domination plans once again, or even greater, given his newfound abilities. So in the end, who is the Rescal? He's nothing more but a megalomaniacal monster who aims for nothing more but to kill and to destroy anyone and anything around him with little to no regard, a monster diving for only power and domination in his own name, a monster that could easily be called as one of the most diabolical and most realistic villains in cinematic history. Thank you all for tuning this new episode in today's analysis. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe everyone and have a nice day. You are deluded, Captain. Tends to be a simple soldier, but in reality, we are just afraid to admit that we have left humanity behind. And unlike you, I embrace it proudly. So
crowd see ya? Then how come you're running? 